Are we going to play on minimum hazard because older game and I'm not playing those on normal or hard? I learned my f***ing lesson. We love the grid texture. Are we going to be laughing with it or laughing at it? And I also, uh, content warning, I don't know what kind of content this game has, so I'm just warning you before we get into it. I don't know what kind of jokes Matt Hazard is going to tell. I don't know if he's going to tell, like, um, stand-up kind of jokes or, like, your dad's stand-up kind of jokes. All right, let's get in there. I also don't know if it's going to have subtitles, so I, I'm sorry if it's a little hard to hear. Hazard. It doesn't. When the 90s came along, I signed on with Mary Oh, fuck, I realize it's Will Arnett. Their original first Thank you, Will Arnett. Year. Survival horror games. Fantasy Bioshock games. reference. But when are we getting hazmat carts? Fuck Bloodborne cart. When are we getting Matt Hazard cart? Fuck. We need Matt Hazard cart. We need it now. I want to play the Bioshock like. I want Matt Hazard in the ocean. Drown him. I want to drown him. It's Hazard time. <laughs> Fuck. I wish there were subtitles. There's not, right? I got an achievement for pausing. Um. <laughs> I'm going to turn VO volume up, everything else down, though. Good bit. Thank you for the pause achievement. Eat Lead includes an obligatory opening tutorial that teaches you the basics before you dive headlong into the deadly action. But hey, it's up to you. Sure, I'd love an opening tutorial. Thank you, Will Arnett. You're so cool. How do you reload, though? Okay, RB. Got it. I think after 20 years in the industry, I know how to fire a damn gun. You know what's better than a video game tutorial is the character talking about the video game tutorial. What were they thinking? A lot of text in this game. Sure, hope you can read. I can't read. Don't you dare hit me. I'm coming over there to Matt Hazard you. Come here. I'm Matt Hazarding you. Eat lead, bitch. You fell for it. You're falling for my ultimate move. The eat lead move. We love our bald white guy protagonist in all of our crusty slop video games. It's always a bald. There's always a white guy and he's always bald. Did he just say your shit <laughs> as he was dying? Oh my god, Matt Hazard. Can you shoot the steak? You can! You can shoot the meat! Finally, video gaming is where it needs to be! You can shoot the meat! Yeah! Is that a big wheel of cheese? You can shoot the cheese. You can shoot the cheese. You can shoot the meat. We love the fucking soundtrack. It's ripping. Brendan, it, you shot the cheese and it got larger, I swear to God. I think it popped out of the plate. Because I saw that too. It is getting larger. What the fuck? Oh, no, it's not. It's just moving away slightly. Okay, good. They got bottle mechanics. It grew out of the plate because what would happen with video game models sometimes is they'd place it... The developers would sometimes place models inside of models that could also move. So what happened was, is the cheese was placed, and when I shot it, it pulled it out of its placement. That's right, I expanded the cheese. Don't fuck with me, lest I make your cheese larger. Oh, that reticule is nasty. That's like an alpha protocol level reticule. Where are all the cooks? See, that's what I'm saying. Where are all the chefs at? They took all the chefs away. They're on chef vacation. Dude, are those bobo cheese? I fucking love Bobo Cheese! You see, you're an enemy in a video game, and I'm the video game hero. Don't you dare attack me, otherwise I'll use my Will Arnett fourth wall breaking powers to defeat you. What if Agent 47 cracked wise? Uh, Hitman would finally be a good franchise if Agent 47 said, What the fucking fuck? What the shit? Alright, remember, this is where it becomes Mortal Kombat. It's no longer a shooter, now it's Mortal Kombat. And we gotta not fail the quick time event, otherwise he's gonna get us. Heat action. Heat action. Use your heat action. Right in the balls. Rotate the R. Yeah, do you want to fight? Let's fight then. Round two. Come on. You're about to get mad hazard. Wax on, mother humper. Did he? Oh, yeah. I think this was a T for teen game, actually. Was it? Because he just said mother humper. Elbow drop. All right, mother humper. Disco is dead. And so are you. Double tapped you just to make sure. It was T for teen. Okay. So a lot of the stuff in this game can explain... Like, this game could have been like Duke Nukem, but they decided to make it T for Teen instead. That's why none of these guys bleed. That's why there's no blood in the game. It's all blue. They really were shooting for like, dude, teenagers are going to love this game. Let's make references that not a single one of them will understand. <laughs> like, I love that about this game. It, it's the, 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 the pure corporate board drivel that this game is and it's got will arnett in it like and i love will arnett but he's definitely like the okay how do we salvage this game oh shit will arnett will arnett let's get him people love will arnett and thing they got computer blood 
They don't even got real blood. They got computer blood. It's an action game parody that they were trying to sell to teenagers because the seventh generation is such a wild wasteland, right? Like people don't think about it because they're like, oh, video games kind of like we're starting to really figure out what they're about, you know, around seventh gen. But it's like, no, they really weren't. Video games still are figuring themselves out. This is one of the prime examples of like, companies had no idea what the fuck they were doing when it came to any video games because they didn't want to listen to their devs. They didn't want to listen to their like actual, the people working at the company. So they were like, dude, this sounds so freaking awesome. That's why the hottest slop is on the seventh gen. Personally, I hate Willernet after ESPN replaced their broadcast of the F1 Canadian GP this year with commentary by him being unfunny. Willernet's really funny when he has a direction like when he has a director that can know how to use him he's funny when he is by himself he is not that funny he is not that funny of a guy when somebody uses him properly he can be very funny the problem being is will arnett by himself thinks he's a funny guy he was with a former f1 driver in marshawn lynch the broadcast was so bad yeah like there's a detective show uh on netflix that's like improv with a comedian and I think one episode is good that I remember. It's the Conan one. And it's because Conan is like one of the funniest guys ever to exist. Conan is so fucking funny in any environment. And like, that's the reason it was funny. Conan's just funny. He's just a funny guy. But also it really depends on what environment you put Will Arnett in. If you put Will Arnett in the sealed chamber, he might not be that funny. But if you put him with the right people or the right direction, he's fucking hilarious. It's like me. You can put me in the pressure cooker. You can put me like in a pressure cooker. Not that funny, right? Like I will fully admit, like I am, I am not that funny in like a sterile environment. Cause what am I going to do? Right? I don't know. Give me like, a, 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 I'll make wacky faces and I'll make a, a, a goo goo gaga noises. Like I'm a giant baby, but like you put me in the right environment. I can be kind of funny. I relate to Will Arnett. We should, they should put me and Will Arnett in the pressure cooker together. They should seal me and Will Arnett in the chamber together just to see what would happen. Everybody across the world would be like, what are they cooking? And I'd be like, you don't know. We're making boy soup. We out here making boy soup. We love making our boy soup. Come here, you're gonna get mad hazarded. Would Arnett be funny if you sealed him in a submarine and submerged him in the sea of blood? Will Arnett would be a much better pick for me for the Iron Lung movie than Markiplier because I think it would be really, really funny. Markiplier, like, whatever. I don't care. But, like, Will Arnett, that's a lot funnier to me. Uh, what is this, some kind of iron lung that I'm in? This is so fucked up and crazy. What do you mean I'm in some kind of iron lung? Oh, shit, what's up here? What's happening now? My gun disappeared. Things are going really crazy. Are we about to get Wreck-It Ralphed? What the? Your words are puny, like you. You are the past, Matt Hazard. I am the future, and your present ends now. Genuinely a video game written by 40-year-olds who don't know what's funny to teenagers. Kids in 2010, they love bad Arnold impressions. I am your nightmare. I'm coming to get you. It's just like that, dude. It's so crazy when he does that. Sting Sniper Scope versus Matt Hazard. Sting well, Sniper, <laughs> who's on your squad? Sting Sniper Scope, Matt Hazard, QA, Truck. It's Hazard time. Oh fuck, it is Hazard time, it is. Holy shit, are you ready for this? It's Hazard time. Thanks, babe, I owe you one. Great, you can start by not calling me babe. Ah, she said it. Thanks, babe. Appreciate it, babe. This freaking, fr pretty freaking epic, babe. I love being in the butchery shop. I fucking love looking in the meat market and saying, whoa, that's a fat slab. Okay, I, honestly, if we could just, like, summarize it. <laughs> okay, that was a good bit. That was a good bit. I'm gonna give that one a three. I'll, gi I'll give them that. Oh, God, we're fighting the meat men? All right, we have one good bit so far. Are they going to improve it? We, we got to see if the game improves on the one funny bit, though, is the thing. What, what are the bets? What are the odds, do you think, Chad? It's got at least one other funny bit in it. This or high on life? This, 100%. You know what I like about this is with his, like, one-liners and quips, he's still not talking the whole time. Even if he's talking the whole time, he's not talking the whole time, right? Meat. Oh, my God, the meat explode. Why am I fighting all these warehouse workers? These guys are just trying to sell meat. A maximum of five funny bits throughout the whole game? Probably. There's got to be at least one other funny bit, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking is like maximum of five funny bits. That's why I'm playing this shit on easy. I'm not playing this for the gameplay. I'm playing this for the experience of playing Eat Lead, The Return of Mad Hazard. 
It's like going to an escape room. You don't go to an escape room because you like escape rooms. You go to an escape room because you can have the experience of saying, well, that was an escape room that I did. Being an escape room enthusiast is like the same to me as being like a crime podcast enthusiast. Where it like, you're either going to do it once and listen to one once or do one once for like the experience of it. Or you're going to let it consume your entire life. There's no in between. Howdy. Revolver Ocelot. This is just Duke Nukem time to kill. This is just Duke Nukem time to kill. Oh my god, though, the spawning in animations? This is just Duke Nukem time to kill. This is just Duke Nukem time to kill. This is just Duke Nukem time to kill. What if a guy came out of that pod? I fucking love that. That animation where they spawn in with the saloon doors? That's good shit. What the heck, babe? You didn't tell me there'd be a freaking western. yippee ki yah hee haw hey hee hee I like that it's a pump-action shotgun instead of, like, a cowboy shotgun, too. They couldn't have two kinds of shotguns. They couldn't have a good old-fashioned double barrel. Oh, cube. I'm a big fan of the big purple cube. Did they put the cowboys in the nightclub because they be wearing chaps? Is that what's up? A couple of chaps wearing chaps? I get it. Oh, fuck yeah, club music. Jeez, even I dance better than that. Now that's my kind of scene. They're animatronic bots used to conserve memory. Oh my god, are those sex bots? Okay, why does that look like the, uh, I'm your freestyle dance instructor, and then it does a... Have you seen the white woman video where she's like, I'm your freestyle dance instructor? and I'm your freestyle dance teacher. Look at it! What the fuck? It's the same fucking dance! It's the same fucking dance, dude! <laughs> Oh my god! It's not exactly the same, but it's really close. Hi, I'm your freestyle dance instructor, and <laughs> the cowboys are loose. We're hazarding, we're hazarding. If I had to hazard a guess, seems like you work here. Not anymore. What do my computer make that noise? Stop that. Catch me at the cowboy club. Six shooter in hand, ready for a sloppy time. Catch my ass in the cowboy club, yelling yeehaw, getting all my favorite drink. Oh, is that the guy? Oh, that's six shooter. Oh, that's a uh, shooter sniper scope is on the is on the monitor. He's still dead and knocked out. That's a pretty good bit. That's like a three out of four bit right there. The main character who is supposed to kill me and take over is just dead on the monitors. Horrible game. Won't even let me gamble. You put gambling in front of my face and you're not even letting me gamble. Is this New Vegas? This is fall at New Vegas. This is yippee. Stall for time, Matt. Don't you fucking worry. Mimi Matt Hazard, Mimi kill the guy. Summoning terrorists is my favorite sixth sixth level wizard spell. <laughs> what if I just bring somebody from the void? We'll see what happens. Is the game gonna end with QA saying it's hazard time? I'm sick of it. But then she'll be like, you know what? I like it now. It's hazard time. The ice upgrade modifies your weapons to fire sub-zero projectiles that encase your targets in ice. What? We're going into the back rooms. I don't, even, I don't even get to see the ice power up because I activated it and then I fucked it all up. I am awesome. I got the migraine achievement. That's what you get for playing this game. <laughs> I like your dance. Pretty cool. Pretty, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's core, not gonna lie. Well, no, we found it. We found the white woman factory. This is so crazy. This is where they make every white woman. This is so fucked. I can't believe the white woman factory was in the back rooms. When are they updating the lore? So we get an ice upgrade. I'm assuming we get a fire upgrade for our gun soon too, don't we? Oh, it, like, freezes them. This is just Wreck-It Ralph. Every fucking- This is just Wreck-It Ralph, but what if, like, the enemies actually fought you? Instead of saying, I'm going to wreck it, I say, it's hazard time. I would tell you about the time I was fighting Russians in a Wild West town that was also in a club. It's fucking crazy, dude. Fucking nutso. I can imagine one person playing this game Whoa. and, like, really, really wanting- Dude, you gotta play e -led, dude. It's so fucking cool. First you're in the Wild West town, then you go in the club, you see the White Woman factory, you leave the White Woman factory, you come out, you fight a couple of terrorists, and then this guy got ICBMs just there, dude. Oh god, they got grenades now? I don't got grenades. Oh no, he got a grenade launcher, I get it. He fired a missile. Goodbye, Ohio. He fired another missile. Goodbye, Louisiana. Brendan, have you considered getting goons, having a bunch of boys? I've thought about it. I think it'd be really fun to have a bunch of goons. But I, uh, I, I, I have friends, uh, and we share a mutual respect rather than having, like, a like a goon squad. I think it's much more fulfilling. The goon-to-boss lifestyle is not for me. 
I would never be able to handle it. I'd run out of orders to give my goons. Did you rob the bank? Yeah, we did, boss. What do we do next, boss? You want to hang out and, like, eat pizza and watch some wrestling? Nah, boss. We need our orders, boss. I'm like, oh, okay, never mind. Apply to be a Brendaniel goon today. Yeah. You get health care, you get a 401k, and you get to do a lot of dubious crime. You get to be a little fucked up and a little evil, but not too fucked up and too evil, you know? First they give us cowboy, then they give us Russians, now they give us wizard world. Oh, finally, a sniper mission where we have to defend the wizard. Well, that's the wild creatures coming in from the right. What the fuck is this voice for him? Is that William Shatner? Is that the bit? Foul creatures coming in from the right. Watch out for those foul security guards. <laughs> Enemies spotted on the left. I got it, dude. I got it. I think he's supposed to be William Shatner. That's why his name is Bill. What's the deal with Wizard World? You can't wizard with him. You can't wizard without him. Yeah, I thought Bill was almost level 75. His magic missile should have done way more damage. Not gonna lie. You think if you have like a magical barbecue pit, you think meat would taste better or worse? Infused with the flavor of the miasma of the other world, would you eat that meat? You got like a magic barbecue pit in like a pit, not Pete. You got a magic barbecue pit in front of you, right? And it got like a other side kind of other world magic inside of it, making the meat nice and tender. Would you eat it? Would it just taste like meat? I mean, would it taste like meat though? Because like different kinds of wood makes a different kind of smoky flavor. Yeah, I'd try it. See, that's fair. That's a good shot. I would try magic meat at least once. Why, I don't know, what if they got, like, wood from a magic tree be firing that shit? You gotta try some tasty magic meat. Now, here's the, here's the kind of meat that I want to try, right? Digimon, if you didn't know this, in the digital world, Digimon eat meat. But the meat isn't taken from creature, the meat is grown out of the ground. I want to try that kind of meat. Oh my god, is there another sniper section? Are you fucking shitting me? You're not shitting me, I have to protect the wizard again. They thought they had something with this. I do like that it looks like an arcade machine, but I still hate it. Is the arcade game a riff on a riff on Silent Scope? It might be. We we can take a little closer look at it. Maybe. If the cutscene doesn't cutscene the shit out of us. I think the cutscene is cutscene the Yep. Oh my god, it's the Splat Kids. They're gonna be full of acid, aren't they? They're gonna give them a real gun, aren't they? Oh shit, the water gun hurt! Hey, remember that game I did? Oh, you mean Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash? Yeah. Pretty cool, right? No, Matt. That's fucking weird, dude. Don't talk about that game. Is this a riff on Silent Scope? It's literally called Silent But Deadly, so yeah, that's a riff on Silent Scope. Everything in this game is a riff, so... Lucky as hell that I never had to go through the hell that some kids did, where if you had the, like, really evil kid, that he'd piss in the squirt gun and shoot it at you. Really lucky that I didn't ever have that, like, experience as a kid. I did for a little while have the really cool, uh, squirt gun. Like, I want to say for a week before it disappeared, I think it got stolen. It was the one with, like, the backpack full of water. Like a super soaker. Yeah, super soaker. It was a super soaker with a backpack full of water. So it was basically like the equivalent of, um, uh, the Flammenwerfer from World War II. So if you had a water gun fight, I'd bust that shit out. Oh god, not more sniping sections. We get it. Silent scope, but what if it was bad? How did somebody steal that? I don't know. It either got stolen or my mom got sick of it or somebody got sick of it. It might have, you know how like you had a toy as a kid and it got like misplaced because your parents hated it? God, dude, I can't even like see half the guys that are attacking Bill the Wizard. Do we protect him? Is Bill the Wizard protected? Is he safe now? I feel like everybody had that though as a kid. Is like, uh, that toy that your parents fucking hated, they got it for you. And then it either disappeared or they got you something new to try to like distract you away from that toy. Also, why is the fantasy character supposed to be William Shatner? Why isn't it anybody else? What the freak? Oh, that's that sniper scope guy. Sting sniper scope. What a horrible night to have a Sokums. Oh, you know what? I just realized Sokum isn't even supposed to be a Splatoon joke. Oh, it's supposed to be a SOCOM riff. It's a parody of SOCOM. Ah, who the fuck remembers SOCOM? Where's the Medal of Honor jokes? Medal of Hazard. What is SOCOM? It was like a PS3, PS2 series of games. Like military shooter. It was, a, SOCOM was okay, but it was like, it was never at the level of Medal of Honor. And it was never at the level of Call of Duty. Why did you think this 2009 game was referencing the future? I don't know, all I'm saying is that uh, the guys over at Nintendo had to have played this game and thought, SOCOM, I get it. What if we splat him? <sighs> Do we LOL yet? We're laughing out loud so fucking hard. Check this out. 
That's what you get for attacking me. It is what you get for attacking me. I would say things like that, Mad Hazard. Gotta keep wanting to say Max Hazard. I can't believe he doesn't have bullet time. That would be such a better component than, like, the ice and the fire bullets. Like, I get it. I totally get it. Like, bullet time is played out or whatever. But bullet time is such an easy fucking power to put in your videos game. And it's so much better than this shit. Oh, fuck. How the fuck he even hit me? Oh, so sad. <laughs> Look how sad he is. <laughs> so sad. They told me I'd get a cookie. I didn't get a cookie. <laughs> That's definitely me when I go to the function and they told me there'd be a free cookie. They didn't give me a cookie. All right, let's get around what here. The what the hell? That's what I'm saying. What the frick? What the goddamn? Oh, is that the sound it makes? Oh, God. Sound design is my passion. That's a gun sound. I'm gonna be real. Even though the wizard is super hokey, he has a fucking kick-ass design. I like all the houses on his back and I'm mad about it. Nice magic missile. I'm, he said it. Genuinely upset that I like the wizard's design because I like the trees with houses on them a lot. They're really fucking cool. Why he feet out though? Oh, you know. You know why the wizard's got his feet out. Wizards need their feet out so they can get closer to the ground, okay? I need to be able to feel the ley lines beneath my feet. I need to be able to feel the earth uh, moving and hurgling and gurgling beneath my very feet. Otherwise, I won't be able to use my funny spells. That's why wizards don't wear shoes. That's like a lore note. They even wrote that in uh, the Sword Coast, the Forbidden Realms. Did you not know that in Baldur's Gate? Look at Gale in Baldur's Gate 3. Never wears shoes. Why do you think? Huh? Why do you think he never wears shoes? He don't. He needs his feet closer to the ground. That way he can feel the magic beneath his feet. It's a real wizard shit. Wait, actually, yeah, it's real wizard shit. Wizards don't wear shoes so they can get closer to the ground. That way they can feel where the ley lines are to be able to summon their spells. It's like a mana thing. You gotta be able to feel the weave, yeah. Also, I made all of that up. That's a lie. And you fell for it. And if you didn't fall for it, you're onto my tricks. But if you fell for it, now you know better. <laughs> if you can get past my little friends, that is. We love to hear right there. Watch out for these soakers. I'm dead. Be careful. They're going to soak you. Oh fuck, I just realized they do be soaking. They're gonna try to put Matt Hazard on a bed and then get their friend to jump up and down on it. Oh, this is fucked. Yeah, they got Arnold for this game. Fucking wild. Isn't that crazy? Dude, the cast on this game, they got Will Arnett, they got Arnold. That's so crazy. Sorry. Matt Hazard is a union guy. We gotta kill him. This motherfucker beat Ninja Gaiden and he can't beat any of the Matt Hazard games. What a fucking idiot. What a rube. This shit is just a plot to free guy. Oh my god. This is just a plot to free guy. We're gonna do so well, they're gonna put me on CEO Monthly, a very real magazine where they talk about all the best CEOs. That's right, I'm finally gonna get my tasteful nude two page spread on CEO Monthly. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Burns. Smithers, kill Matt Hazard for me. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Burns, I'll uh, send more enemies his way. Uh, he keeps defeating all the enemies, Smithers. Uh, destroy him. Hey, Matt, uh, can we get a different line read? I think it'd be a lot better if you said, I'm not gonna let him take the fall guy. Fall guys. I think that'd be a lot better take and it'd be way more relevant to today's video game economy. And now, Matt, if you could just say, God, I hope Dexter is among us. That also would work out really well. A lot of people still like that game, Matt. Are you ready to... Does this game have any obligatory driving segments? We gotta be coming up on that if it does, right? I need to see a, an, a, like an obligatory video game driving segment. I can't tell who the fuck that is, and I'm like terrified, and it looks like he just has a big stogie in his mouth, and I can't read it either. Breaking news! Matt Hazard is real, and he's coming to your house! Oh my god, if we get to play Hazard Cart, I'm gonna shit luxuriously. I feel like I'm on the fucking island where they did the Spy Kids movie. Where the Fooglies at? Hit him with the Fooglies! Where the Fooglies at? Where's Tony Shalhoub at? He's gonna use modeling clay to turn my head into a hand! Where's Antonio Banderas at? Who, what, where, when, and why? You know what, I fucking realize. Matt Hazard, and, and this is gonna sound really weird and psychotic, and it probably should because it's me, but I don't know what, Matt Hazard has the same energy as a Spy Kids movie. I, I can't explain it. I, I don't know how and why, but like I'm getting 
the Spy Kids energy from this, like, full video game. And I don't know why. Matt Hazard is, like, is he the guy? Wait a minute. Am I the guy? Oh, my God. Matt Hazard is the guy. He even has, like, the guy... Oh my god, I'm the guy. And what kind of enemy? Oh my god, zombie? Have the zombie shoot game. Have them shoot gun. Oh, only headshots. That's okay. What are they gonna do? Shoot at me? Oh, they got one Russian guy in here. Are they gonna give me a chainsaw so I can skin their ass raw? Maximum hazard. Damn. Ben Payne drowned in the Caspian Sea. Oh, they all say Ben Payne. I don't get that, but that gotta be a reference. When are we going to see Sylvester Stallone talking to himself? I mean, let's be real here. Spy Kids 3D cinema, right? Like, that movie is one of the best movies ever. But also, yeah, Spy Kids 4 fucking blows ass. It sucks. Spy Kids 1, 2, and 3. Perfect trilogy. Then they had to make a fourth one. Ben Drowned. Wait a minute. No, there's no way that a game as old as this has a Ben Drowned reference. One fucking second. No fucking way. No fucking way. I just realized, un unintentional or not, Ben drowned. Ben drowned. Ben drowned. Oh my god, Matt Hazard. They got the creepy pasta in here. There ain't no way they do a Ben drowned reference in like 2009. They <laughs> got the creepy pasta. I was at home playing Eat Lead with my Xbox controller when Matt Hazard looked directly at the screen and said, Hey, will you help me out here? And then I tried to help him and he was real and he was in the game. I would say, I wouldn't say perfect trilogy. Uh, the third one is really good, but it's not as good as the first two. I like 3D better than two. I'm going to say easy, e easy pick three is better than two for me. And I say that because I hate the romance subplot too. If I, if I was ranking the three Spy Kids movies that matter, I definitely go like... One, three, two. Because two has like, two has a fucking, uh, do you think he too would be afraid of his creature? You got like the God quote, right? Have I told my Spy Kids 3D experience though? I've told it before, right? I've talked about this. When I was a kid and I saw Spy Kids 3D in theaters, my mom had the 3D glasses. And my mom would have been 25 at this point, I think, right? And she didn't understand how the 3D glasses worked because she had astigmatism. Which, like, doesn't impede your viewing of the 3D glasses, but she thought that it did. Uh, partially because she had astigmatism, but she didn't wear glasses, right? So she thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to see the movie out of my right eye. Um, with 3D technology, you get these glasses, especially for, like, Spy Kids 3D, where it was a blue lens and a red lens. My mom took us to the theater, and I'm enjoying the movie. I'm like, ah, oh, this is so epic, awesome. And I look over at her, and she is taking the 3D glasses... And on her good eye, she's swapping them back really fast between the blue and the red lenses to try to, like, see the 3D in the movie. So, like, she's, tr <laughs> she's trying to, like, see the 3D in her one good eye by moving the lenses back and forth between her one good eye instead of just wearing the glasses. <laughs> I love my mom. She... <laughs> I think about that so much, dude. It's such a it's such an image burned into my fucking brain. <laughs> Listen, if you just move the blue and red really fast between your good eye, you're gonna be able to see it. Shit, penis, penis, fuck. Have you laughed at this game once? I did once when they pulled up a bunch of objectives and Matt said, fuck that. I mean, he didn't curse because he's not allowed to. Um, but he basically, he basically said the equivalent of, oh, we're not doing all that. That was the one good bit. Oh my God, where's the one guy at? Come here. You need to stop firing your AK bullshit at me, dude. I'm trying to kill the zombie. One good bit in like an hour of game? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it. you know what I'll say about this game? For the most part, it controls all right. Like all of the pistols are pretty good in terms of like video game weapons, but all of the automatic weapons fucking suck shit. Oh my God, are we back to squirting? Oh, we're squirting. We're squirting so fucking hard. God, these guys are so fucking strong. Jesus, they splatted me. Yeah, I do be rifling. Pick up the squirt gun. We're splorching. First, I'm going to hurgle, then I'm going to gurgle. No action hero will ever say that. They will never hire my ass for blockbuster movies because I would put in the most rancid of lines. <laughs> you think you can stop me in this breakfast buffet with all your goons? <laughs> all right, then. Grab yourself a tray of hot dogs, bitch. First, we're going to hurgle, then we're going to gurgle. And that's why you should hire me for 90s action movies. They took my babes away. 
nice ring to it, don't you think? I designed you took my babes, you son of a bitch. Now I'm gonna take your ass. The only bit that makes me laugh is Shaq having to make free throws with Dr. Phil's foot. Was that three? With the Saw parody? Which one had the, uh, it had a really good bit. One of the, um, so one of the, oh my god, Jesus. One of the, oh, they're Bobots. So one of the, uh, Scary Movie movies had a really good bit. And it was, um, God, what was it? It was Leslie Nielsen, like, pissing out of his finger and being like, we're not so different after all. And I think that was a really good bit. Am I supposed to kill him or? Okay, I am supposed to kill him. But I'm out of Yammo. That was three. That was a really good bit in three, I'm not gonna lie. One, two, and three had some pretty good bits. And then they kind of stumbled into, um... And I mean, this is from, like, one. I, I feel like a lot of the comedy in one, two, and three, like, Scary Movie one, two, and three, uh, a lot of it was shock comedy, but there were actually genuinely funny bits in there. Four was good. Was four with the War of the Worlds parody? I don't remember enough about four. Scary Movie four. Yeah, Leslie Nielsen was the president in three, and then he pisses out of his finger, and he's like, we're not so different after all. I just don't remember four. Can I just say that Brenda's song from the Scary Movie movies is, like, one of the strongest like scary movie characters in, in horror movies or in horror media. She's so fucking tough. I love when she kicks the shit out of that skeleton's ass. It's a good bit. All right, fight Matt. This is me versus Matt Mercer at the D&D convention. Meet me at Gen Con, huh? This is, the, uh, in this position, I am Dexter and I'm getting my ass kicked. Because Matt Mercer is fucking, he's built like a tank. I'd never be able to fight him on the battlefield. This is literally how Matt Mercer would beat me up if he ever saw me. Matt, you mate, you punched my freaking TV. Oh, he's gonna trick me. Do people not know that doesn't feel good? <laughs> okay, two good bits. Do people not know that doesn't feel good? I mean, hey, there are a lot of masochists out there, Matt. There are people who think that does, in fact, feel good. You wanna let her out of the tube? No, we're not gonna get her out of the tube. We just leave her in the tube. Okay. We don't care about Kitty. Kitty stays in the tube. Oh my god, he's got hot babes! I'm gonna get my ass kicked just because I don't have any ammo. Oh my god, what a fucking fight. What the shit is this fight? There's not another gun anywhere, is there? Oh, they really wanted to make this a pain in the ass, didn't they? They really wanted to make this section a pain in the fucking cock. Just like Matt Hazard getting his balls kicked in. It just like that me when me for real for real on God. There will be a new Spy Kids movie coming in a month on Netflix and it has a trailer. Oh my God, there is. Oh my fucking God, of course it has. Of course it has the guy from Chuck. It has Shazam in it. Who the fuck? Why the fuck would you make another new Spy Kids movie? And it got the guy from Chuck in there. What is it, Zach Levi? It got Chuck in there. Money? But like what kind of money? Because at this point it's got to be like money laundering. Robert Rodriguez loves making movies. Robert Rodriguez loved making that, that episode of Boba Fett, which was one of the worst fucking things I've ever seen, and I don't even care about Star Wars. Remember how in the book of Boba Fett, for the people who've seen it, there are a bunch of people that are like, we hate that we're not able to afford water. Water is so expensive. And they're riding around on candy-colored mopeds and with expensive cybernetic augments. Remember how there are two episodes of the book of Boba Fett that are literally just episodes of The Mandalorian instead? There's a full episode of the Book of Boba Fett that Boba Fett's not even in there. I'm not even a big Star Wars head and I thought that was insane. Why is that guy literally Brendan? I mean, give him a couple of inches and he's literally me, yeah. Give him like a, give him like three, four inches of height and he's literally me. Fucking cowboy! Fuck you, cowboys! I don't even like football! Wouldn't it be wild to meet somebody who thought that the Cowboys was just the name of a football team and that Cowboys did not exist? Hopefully, I don't think this is a game where enemies are infinite respawn. I feel like that's my biggest uh, problem with certain like crusty video games from this era of video games is that so many of them had uh, like a, oh God, what's the, like, you know when you play Call of Duty World of War and like you basically, it's not about how many enemies you kill, it's about how fast you can get to the location because enemies will infinitely spawn. I always appreciate a video game that has a set amount of fucking enemies. Not like, you know, fuckable enemies, but like, just enemies in general. The shooting looks bad. It's fine when you have a pistol. Everything else is fucking nasty and terrifyingly bad. And also, yeah, who the fuck decided this needed to be backwards compatible versus any other video game? I'm playing this on the Xbox One right now. Versus almost any other video game that's not backwards compatible. Why this one? Somebody on Xbox who worked on Matt Hazard has some info on somebody. Listen here, you little freak. You will put Matt Hazard, Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard on the Xbox store, or I'm going to be mighty mad with you. You better freaking do it, dude, or else I'm going to freak out. Oh, no, don't let Jonathan freak out, dude. He's going to ruin the entire office birthday party. 
everybody at this office, we all have the same birthday, and he's going to fucking ruin it. I'll freak out, dude. I'll start throwing all the cakes and pies. I'll throw them all out. Fine, Jonathan, you win. You can't ruin the office-wide birthday party if we put Matt Hazard on the fucking Xbox backwards compatible, can ya? A lot of video games that don't have backwards compatibility, it's a licensing issue anyway. Like, every, every game for the 360 would probably be backwards compatible if it wasn't a licensing issue. That's, I think, I think that's it too, honestly. I think a lot of the, um, the games that are stuck on 360 are, are either owned by dead companies, owned by some weird investment firm, or like stuck forever. Is that invincibility? Are we made of metal? This is so fucking epic, dude. I'm the metal man. I got the metal Mario power up. This is so fucking cool. Oh, she's lying. That's not the real QA. You can tell because the real QA is blue and that QA is red. They're making me fight Bob the Builder on the fucking yacht, dude. God, the light in his eyes, dead. His construction friends, dead. This is Bob the Builder, old age. Imagine, like, the conversation that Bob the Builder will have with his construction, like, worker friends, or his construction, I don't know, equipment friends. Imagine, dude, if somebody made Bob the Builder but scary, right? And, like, what if Bob the Builder was, like, talking to, like, I don't know, his forklift friend? And his forklift friend was like, We will all outlive you, Bob. We are not bound by the human constraints of living and life. That'd be so fucking crazy. Write that down, write that down. That's a great YouTube video idea. Write that down, write that down. Bob the Builder, but evil. All of his construction equipment friends? Huh, dude, they outlive him. Dude, Bob the Builder, but evil. Write that down right now. I was never a Bob the Builder head. I'm so fucking sorry. It was a little bit after my time. I'm trying to think of what baby media I used to watch, and really, it's just coming up Barney. I was a big Barney head. There used to be this Barney Christmas special. I gotta rewatch it soon, because I used to watch that shit all the fucking time. They come down the stairwell. It got, like, the powder blue wallpaper. They got, like, Santa Claus in there. I used Blue's Clues was a big one, but I was a Barney kid. I had Barney in the Rainbow Egg. I fucking ruined that, that uh, VHS. That shit got played daily. Is that an evil chef? Master Chef! Do you get it? Do you get it? Why every bad game gotta have a yacht level? Crime Boss Rock A City also have a yacht level. I got Chuck- I got Chunk Norris in there. At least it doesn't have an active reload. This would be way more of a Gears of War-like spoof if one of the guns had an active reload and a chainsaw. They're just nondescript space marines! Oh, yeah, well, Black Ops Cold War had the yacht level. I think another Call of Duty game had a yacht level, too. And that was fine. Blops 2, yeah, Blops 2 had a yacht level, I remember. I remember! I may be old, but at least I'm not old! I may be forgetful, but at least I'm not forgetful. <laughs> oh god, this is just slop. I just have nothing to say about it. I hate boat levels. I don't know what it is. I'm just like a boat owner. You know, the best two days of the boat owner's life, right? The day he buys the boat and the day he sells the boat. That's the only boat joke that I have. I don't have any other boat jokes. I have one. Can you free me from yacht hell, please? I'm sick of being in yacht prison. Let me out. You agree that Blops 2 is the best COD for multiplayer? No, no, no. Absolutely not. Different generation of man here. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 is my, like, go-to. After that, it just started getting worse. And I say that because the, the map design just started getting worse and worse and worse. It felt like every map after Modern Warfare 2, it, it felt like the map... Uh, it felt like multiplayer map design was basically having a toddler draw with a crayon all over the place, and then they would build the map around the toddler's crayon drawing. Blops 2 is like, everybody's like, oh, dude, awesome. But it's also the first time I remember COD really feeling like a slot machine in terms of playing it, where it's like, oh, dude, I'm trying to get my kill streak. You'd log on, you die five times in a row, and then you get 20 kills, and then you die uh, because of spawn placement being so fucking broken. All I remember about Blops 2, it, that was the moment when I, when I like stopped. I was like, this one sucks. I hate this one. That was the first Call of Duty bad for me. And then Blobs 2 came around and I was like, this fucking sucks. And then it had Nuketown and it's like Nuketown. So cool, Nuketown. And then Nuketown's been in every Call of Duty permutation that I can think of. I fucking hate Nuketown. Also, like, I don't know, something about Call of Duty that I don't like is the, um, because I have friends who play it regularly. And one thing that I dislike is modern Call of Duty has this, like, idea that you gotta be able to, like, level up your weapons really fast, and, w like, weapon leveling is really overly important. To the point where, like, people will jump into shipment, and then play shipment for, like, 8 to 20 hours to level up a gun, where they're just running into the fucking- you're running directly into the sawmill to get eaten by the saws so you can get the gold skin for your gun. And I respect that, right? Like, I get it, like, I totally- like, you wanna be able to, like, grind for your weapons or whatever, but I just- I just am like, I don't care about that. The idea of, like, having to grind for weapons and, like, weapon skins and stuff. So you can say you spent a hundred hours in shipment 
so you can get the cool skin is like insane to me because it's not even like a point of skill it's a point of time right it's like if the weapon skins were more about like doing a cool thing instead of just a buying something or b playing the game for 100 hours in this specific level so you can grind out weapon levels it'd be way more fun to me or way more impressive if they were like centered more around specific challenges that were more than just get 100 headshots now get 200 headshots okay now get a thousand headshots and it's like if i wanted to play a video game and grind for a specific thing i'd play fucking pokemon because then at least i get a little creature and the little creature has power much like a gun has power all i'm saying call of duty and pokemon everybody been saying it for the last 15 years but i mean it call of duty and pokemon are the same game on the different ending the, uh, they're they're on the same spectrum and i don't even mean in terms of like releasing a game yearly i just mean in genuine in genuine in genuine like fashion that the grind in both of them is just real right here's mad cod was your last competitive drug no i just i don't know i didn't realize like i didn't get over being competitive in video games until i was like 25 that's when i realized this shit don't matter why would i want to play a game for hours and hours and hours that i wouldn't have fun in at least with bad games i can have a different kind of fun it's a different kind of masochism with call of duty i don't know doing the same shit over and over and over again the new mw3 looks to be literal dlc for the new mw2 they changed the name of call of duty mw2 in steam to just call of duty <laughs> back rooms yeah i don't know what they're doing with call of duty but i have a feeling they're they're going to be pushing for more live service bullshit and then it'll be like dude awesome you can play with grain pass now but then you gotta buy the season pass you're gonna want to get the battle pass that's separate for warzone and uh you're gonna want to be able to buy the 60 dollars dlc that upgrades your call of duty from 150 gigabytes to 250 gigabytes yeah i don't know i don't want to play a video game where i'm gonna get really angry and call of duty is a video game that makes me really angry that's why i'm just a silly shrimple bitch i play child game i play fortnite and people be like why are you playing fortnite i'm like i'm having fun i'm having a good time i know it's still like a sloppy take your money kind of video game but i have a good time with it i don't get you angry at it don't listen to her Matt. she's an imposter do you yeah, take the blue one or the red one? The Kraken? This can't be good. And it's clipping through the sails. Listen, I'm not ready for the guys. When I tell you I'm ready, I'll tell you I'm ready for the guys, all right? They can come into this hot tub once I purify it, okay? That'd be cool if you picked up ammo, Matt. I'm just saying, kind of your fault, Matt. Oh no! Oh no! Why does that sound like me when I do the oh you got me voice? Son of a bitch. They stole my fucking trademarked. Oh, you got me. Oh, you got me. Can I kill one of them, please? Is that one of them dead? What's happening now? Fucking cutscene. I should make the Kraken my bitch. You're doing great. I should make this Kraken play Dai Katana. That's then it's going to be my bitch. First you play Dai Katana. Then you're my bitch. Yeah, somebody at the marketing department was like, dude, we need more tentacles. More, 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 more. Why did it cutscene me, but I'm still fighting? Okay, well, it checkpointed. Somebody thought, isn't it going to be awesome? You're on a pirate ship. You're fighting a Kraken. But you also have space marines attacking you, and you get laser guns. Why are you cutscene? Is this the same cutscene? Oh, he's saying it again. Oh, my God. It's shit because that's the bit. Did you really have to do that? Did you really have to do? Okay, this is shit because the bit is this is shit. Matt, you're right. This bit is shit. That's the bit. The bit is shit. That's the bit. The bit is shit. That's the bit. The bit is shit. That's so cool, dude. That's so freaking epic, dude. We're so lucky we have a hero like Matt Hazard. That's the bit, the bit of shit. That's the bit, the bit of shit. Take my ass back to the yacht, dude. I'd rather be at the yacht. Oh, good. Back to fighting Russian soldiers. Oh, did you interrupt my fucking melee, dude? That's not cool. You shouldn't do that. Don't interrupt my fucking melee. That's bad and wrong. That's badong. Epic fucking hero time. This shit reminds me of hero time from Shrek 2. Whenever you would start a minigame, a guy would yell, It's hero time! It's definitely a real hero time moment. Glad this game came out before Minecraft existed because there'd be so many fucking Minecraft moments. Dude, I would cry just like when that pig died in Minecraft story mode. H heartbreaking moments in media. You guys are so fucked. I'm Metal Mario now. You can't fucking beat Metal Mario, dude. Metal Mario is the strongest Mario because he's made of metal. What are the other Marios going to do when it comes to Metal Mario? They're not going to be able to stop him. That's why Metal Mario is the strongest Mario. Hello and welcome to my 13-part video essay about why Metal Mario is the strongest of the Marios. He is very cool, he is very handsome, and he is made entirely of metal. I have made my very own Metal Mario, and I like to have him in my bed so I can sleep with him. And I like how cold and shiny and smooth he is. I wish he moved like the real Metal Mario. I think that would be cool. Surprised they haven't made a Mario reference yet. It's really easy and really schlocky to make a 
Oh, fuck, you got me going down into the sewers? What am I, some kind of plumber? What am I, some kind of Mario? Be a better joke. There'd be a better joke here if Will Arnett was in the Mario movie, but he's not. Bring Matt Hazard back, but put Jack Black in that son of a bitch. You know, I watched the Mario movie, and I know a lot of you didn't watch the Mario movie. Did you know that Mario says fuck in that movie? That's crazy. And you can't fight me on this, because I know you didn't see the Mario movie. Even if you saw the Mario movie, or say you saw the Mario movie, I know you're lying. Mario says fuck in it. He does, he does, he does, I swear, he does. He does say fuck in it. He does. He totally does. I know you haven't seen it because you think he doesn't say fuck, but he definitely says fuck in it. Mario says fuck in the Mario movie. He definitely does. He does. You gotta believe me. You gotta believe me because I saw the Mario movie on my Peacock, my Peacock subscription. Mario says fuck and Luigi says penis. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the plastic chair review. So good to be here. So back. To, so good to be back. These are the orange plastic chairs. We got some salty terrorists fucking attacking me, but I got to take a look at these. Uh, these chairs look like they fucking suck. I'm not going to lie. They look like they're part of the Nickelodeon studio. Dan Schneider stole all of this when he left. Anyway, three out of ten on these chairs. Oh my god, he is Mario! There it is, I was talking about Mario. It is Mario! We have- Oh my god, he Mario'd it! We're Mario piping! Tell Karen I said hello. I will. Leather man, give him hell! Tell Karen I said hello. Of course fake Mario's wife's name is Karen. Where he power up blockhead, I want to use it. It was such a Mario moment. That's so fucking cool. Dude, I love it when the Mario guy went, It's a me, bitch. Mario, here we fucking go. And, and then when he went, Wah, motherfucker. That's so fucking cool. He did the pipe thing. I don't know why. There are so many other interesting video game areas you could make fun of. Why a giant metal warehouse? There are a billion different video game worlds you could make fun of a go-to. Why a giant metal warehouse? I mean, I guess cheaper. And maybe if you already had the assets for it. Let me out of here, dude. Come on. This definitely isn't a loading screen. Remember how Assassin's Creed 2 had a Mario joke that was so out of place? Remember when Dying Light had a literal pipe at a literal Mario level? Well, I'm glad he's frozen in there and that we're out here and that she's frozen in there and that <laughs> like I'm the sheriff. <laughs> and I just remembered that he's the caveman. Like, whoa. <laughs> Soul Calibur. Oh, Final Fantasy. I get it. <laughs> they talk in the text bubble. This is good bit number three. I'm gonna give it that. This is a pretty good bit. Okay, this is a really good bit. Look at the damage numbers. This is literally just a Borderlands game. Oh, good. You summon space marines, eh? It's just a thing you can do in Amine game, huh? Don't worry. You'll get a speaking part in a 60 minute cutscene in the sequel. Oh, good. You're going Borbis mode. How could I have forgotten about the famous Borbis mode from Videos Game? Sorry, fellas, could you not? Could you get out of the- Yep, you fucking killed me. I asked nicely, could you not? And I died again. Okay, so I, I literally don't have enough health to be able to deal- I literally don't have enough ammo to be able to deal with you. Got it. Come on, hit him. Kill him, kill him, kill him. All right, second phase done. Suck my ass! Anime! Huh, nice. Good? Bad? I'm the guy with the gun. I don't care how big your sword is. This would be way better if it was just the Indiana Jones bit where he like pulls out his menu and he like tries to like fucking get me and then they just do a dorkly bit where I shoot him in the head. I think that would be a lot better than the whole fucking boss fight being a thingus. Meanwhile, in the real world. Oh my god, they're gonna summon dude. Because it's just like free guy. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have a showdown with dude. Just like fucking Ryan Reynolds in free guy. Oh my god, it's gonna be snipe sniper scope. My ass is gonna be sniping? Real? You know what they say? Being Metal Mario is better than sex. I've heard him say that before. Who said that? They. They said it. Being Metal Mario better than sex. Being Metal Mario is like eating a devil's food cake when you're not allowed to. Your diet won't allow it, but you eat it anyway. Being Metal Mario gotta be the best fucking time. Mario says that all the time. They say that. They say, hey, Luigi. Hey, Luigi. Being Metal Mario is better than a sex. Oh, Mario. He says that. He says that all the time. You can tell. I had the soundbite right there. He said it. You know what they say? Being Metal Mario is better than having sex. Mario has never had sex. Mario is keenly aware of sex. You're just mad because Mario does have sex and he knows what sex is. And your parents still haven't explained it to you, but Mario knows. You're just upset because Mario knows. Like, stop, Brandon. Mario can't know. Stop it. But he does. He does know about sex. He's keenly aware of sex. 
Sorry, paisanos. Mario is acutely aware of what sex is. <laughs> Why you got all fucking Minnesotan dock workers out here? They ain't even got the fucking ocean in Minnesota, so what the fuck, bud? Oh, you follow the Vikings yet, bud? You see what they're up to? Oh, dude, the no fucking management is ruining the fucking team, bud. I fucking swear to God, bud. Oh, dude, oh, jeez. Oh, golly gosh, diddly darn, bud. Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, I'm moving out to the bay. Yeah, I'm gonna be working the arbor, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, don't you know? Don't you know I'm moving right out to the bay? The fucking Minnesota Vikings, dude. Oh, fuck, dude. No management. Always under new management. I'm sick of this shit, dude. I'm gonna be a dock worker, dude. I'm gonna go fucking work right out here, right by the boat. Boob. This the famous boob room? They really went like fucking... Yeah, they really went full fucking bore with the boob room, huh? Oh, uh, be careful. That guy, he's in the titty room. You know, every ship got a titty room. It's where all the boys sleep and they keep all their boob poster around here. Listen, if you're working on the ship and you're uncomfortable with the boob room, I can get it. I totally get it. I understand you. Don't you know, bud? I fucking get it, bud. I do, I do, I do. But don't be afraid of the fucking boob room because we got fucking ping pong in the next room, bud. We'll play a couple of games. It'll make you right as rain. Okay, bud? Oh, you betcha. You betcha. Play a couple of games of ping pong on the fucking boat. We got the big espresso machine even. Yeah, this is Will Arnett. Absolutely. What, do you think that was a joke? That's not a joke. Matt, Hi Matt Hazard is voiced by Will Arnett. Now listen, bud. If you want to be able to level up to the cock and balls room, you're going to have to pay a stipend. Where are you hiding, bud? Great bit for your last level. Having me fight a bunch of dock workers on the boat. You're fucking dead, buddy. You're fucking one ply, kiddo. Listen, I have over 300 fucking confirmed kills, bud. I was in the Navy SEALs, you know. Not even the Ort Ort time. Oh, no, it's actually him. Yeah, that's not even Brendan Bate. If you think it was Brendan Bate that this is Will Arnett, you fell for it. It's reverse Brendan Bate. That's what's great about baiting people, um, because I can tell the truth and they'll think it's a lie. And then when presented with the truth, they lose their fucking mind. Oh, you betcha, bud. You know I'm in your fucking head, bud. You know you fell for it. Oh, shit. That, the cowboys are back. Everybody really is here. This is fucking trippy. Before Wolfenstein... Uh, the New Order, by the way. They did this before New Order. Just remember, they did this shit before New Order did it. But it was still way cooler in New Order. Uh, <laughs> this is just actually, they just... This is just Wolfenstein. They really did make a game. Only T for Teen, right, by the way. Only T for Teen with references that only people like 20 and up when this game came out would understand. You're so hot, Will Arnett. You're so cool, Will Arnett. You teach me how to build Lego, Will Arnett? I know you do your Master Builder stuff. You do the Lego Championships? Could you teach me how to build this Lego figure without the manual, Will Arnett? I bet you could do it. You're very cool and strong. If I get the Millennium Falcon, the Lego model for it, and if you help me build it, that would be so cool, Will Arnett. Could you be my new dad, Will Arnett? That'd be so cool. Will Arnett, can you come to my house? You teach me how to build an Ikea shelf without the manual? I bet you could do it. You're so cool. Man, this last level is just arena after arena after arena. Dude, if it doesn't end with a really annoying boss fight, I'm going to be let down. All of the boss fights have been annoying, so there's no way that there's not an annoying boss fight at the very end. I hope the last fight is a quick time event, because I think that'd be way funnier. Trick Sting and destroying the three arrays that power the Mall of Mourning. Oh, he's using the Hammer of Dawn. Hey, destroy these. Hey, you want to break these for me? I died. Cool Hammer of Dawn moment. I love the Gears of War. I love all the Gears. John Gear, Jimmy Gear, Handsome Steven Gear. The problem is, is I can't outrun the laser, so I'm confused about what the laser's supposed to do. Am I supposed to wait for... Am I supposed to know where the laser's gonna spawn? What the fuck? It went through the fucking fingers! I literally... I saw it. I saw it go through the fingers. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot the fucking doors and then just stand here. Oh, cool. Oh my God. That's so epic. <laughs> this is so cool, dude. I love hanging out in a pod waiting for the laser to come and get me. Laser me, beam me, beam attack. Beam attack. This is one of the plagues of Egypt. This is the Pharaoh's curse. I'm getting Pharaoh's cursed in this fight. <laughs> oh boy. Return the slab, or suffer my curse. You will be stuck playing Mad Hazard. Eat lead on the Xbox 360. If you don't return my fucking slab. Oh, the things I do for love. 
God, if this game had a sand level, might actually win me over. Got an achievement. 10 gamer score. All it took for me to get 10 gamer score was to... <laughs> All I had to do was ascend to the plane of astral energy and become a being of pure light, and I got 10 gamer score? That'd be a good bit. I ascended to the astral plane, and all I did, all I got was 10 fucking gamers to her. My brain fucking broke. Finish him! Oh, she said it. She said finish him. We finished him. That's so cool. Fake credit moment. That's a fake credit moment. Yeah, fake credit moment. That's not the end. I like in the credit, it said actual monkeys. Good bit. Oh, they brought him to the real world. He coded himself into the game. He's the game guy. We have to stop him. We have to stop the game guy. He's just firing at the fucking wall. You gotta hire better AI employees, dude. This is why AI will never replace good old fashioned humans. Cause if these guys were human goons, they would be a lot better. Oh, that is Neil Patrick Harris. What in the fuck? You just made me realize who the bad guy in this game is. I didn't know this whole fucking time. The CEO is Neil Patrick Harris. Why? You about to do the Dr. Horrible sing-along blog at me? <laughs> All right, Wally. It's Wally time. Just like the British say, time for me to find Wally, am I right? That's a great Duke Nukem moment. Duke Winter, I get it. Blow it out your ass. Hey, bitch. You're a fucking stupid, smelly idiot. My games are better than yours. Oh, fuck off with the health bars. Not gonna lie, that is kind of funny. The Duke Duke Forever making fun of it. These are some great fucking names. When am I gonna see some of these names in chat? Who taking Golden Parachute? Who taking Who's Da Boss? Who's taking Ona Call? Oh, Ona Call. Okay, I thought that was way worse. <laughs> That's the funny disconnected from Xbox Live. No, <laughs> that was me. That's crazy. Was that a real bit, or is that <laughs> is that a real thing that happened, or did that was that part of the game? <laughs> this is not a new game. This game is new. This is not a new game. This is from 2009. This rifle. This is a <laughs> this is a 2009 game. This is not new. Oh yeah, dude. This game came out. You gotta fucking pick this shit up, dude. You gotta pick up Matt Eat Land, Matt Hazard, dude. <laughs> Please tell me this isn't gonna be like fucking awful. I think it's gonna be fucking awful because like I've done the other boss fights and they were also fucking awful. What the fuck? No, what the fuck? I love that they have like the, this is like you're supposed to take advantage of the cover mechanics, but the cover mechanics are barely working. Try to destabilize my reality, bitch. I dare you, I dare you, destabilize me, destabilize me. Come on, do it. Bro, the babes. I pressed the wrong button, what did I do? Dexter. I pressed the wrong button, what did I do? I'm about to get the beat the snot out of Wellesley with my bare hands achievement. It's hazard time. <laughs> Edited due to violent content. <laughs> what the fuck? This is the final fight. This is the final fight, dude, of the game! Sorry ass. Oh crap. Not good, not good. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me! Oh, come on! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! As the CEO of this company, I demand a rematch! Shut up, Wellesley. <laughs> Game over. You did it, Matt! Yeah. I just wish that QA could have been here. I got 50 gamer score! Yes, I'm not. Dick. Oh, I get it. Guy? It's that guy. This mean you don't want to take me to that uh, didn't you get it's a nerd no, it's the whole time. No. That's crazy. Cool, I'd ask him about it, but the SVGA goon squad just hauled him away. So Did you just say goon squad? History. 10 out of 10. Actually, no. Best game I ever played. 10 out of 10. He said it. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.